take just a moment to, to thanks, thank each and every one of you for joining us today and obviously to thank our two recipients here today as we say goodbye to two incredibly dear friends of ours who've been in this department now for an awful, awful long time doing incredible work and we wouldn't be where we are today without them. I thought it's interesting, every time I turn around, Peggy's standing there next to Joe Miller. And Peggy's from the Joe Miller School. And what I mean by that is, can you name other folks who have done the following, come to John Carroll as an undergraduate, majored in the department, and in her case, worked her way through, not only as undergraduate, not only as uh, uh, adjunct faculty, assistant, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, adjunct faculty, visiting faculty, assistant professor, associate professor, department chair. That's a pretty good run. And I, Joe's the only other one I know who's gone from undergraduate to chairing the department, um, and, and in some other part departments as well. I still don't quite understand why Joe ever chaired physics, but that's another question altogether. <laughs> Come on up, Peggy, absolutely. <laughs> tremendous accomplishments here at every level. I mean, Peggy, for example, is a Clicky Award winner, so you know she's amazing in the classroom. Taught 28 different courses for us, even more preps than Bob, which I didn't think was possible. Uh, right? And a lot of folks are talking about what a great place the comm department is in right now, how we're moving forward, all kinds of innovations that are going on, etc. Peggy laid the groundwork for everything that we're doing right now and deserves tremendous cre credit for all of the accommodations that are going on there, the growth. <laughs> One other thing I'm going to say about Peggy before turning this over to get back to the party, we know that this is a place that it's always prided itself on service, right? Always has been really, really keen on that. But you may not know that before she came back to the comm department, she was heading our service division over here, where her sister Feely now is. And in her first, what, there were seven years that you were heading that? Eight years that you were heading that. And in the fourth year, fifth year, in the fifth year of that, U.S. News & World Report for the first time ranked this as a top 25 program in the country for service learning. And they did that again her sixth year. And they did that again her seventh year. And they did that again her eighth year. Which I think says a lot about a program that was built from the ground up and the tremendous ability that she was able to accomplish. Peggy, more than most of us, has lived that life of balancing service and commitment to the education. She's understood from the very beginning what a John Carroll and Jesuit education really meant and she embodied it at every level. And we truly would not be where we are today without her. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Actually, I'm gonna let you pick since he walked away from the Oscar. I'm gonna try to kill him. There you go. And, uh, thank you. Father oh, Emily, I want to say a few things. I would like to say a few words about Penny. Uh, Brent has talked about the national impact, university at large, large impact that these individuals have made. I want to talk about personal impact from the first person perspective. I don't know how to talk about Peggy and 
They say culturally you are supposed to be a man. A man doesn't cry. I learned that from American culture. <laughs> there was a time in my discernment process when I wasn't sure. I don't think I would have been here today if not Peggy. Peggy had a personal impact in my life. Peggy, I still hold that sheet of paper you gave me during one of those reviews. I still hold it. <laughs> what does the paper say? No. Maurice, learn how to say no. I don't want you to die before your actual death. <laughs> Service, yes, there will be more time for service, but I want to make sure you are okay and healthy and enjoy this experience. Peggy would always step in and say, Maurice, what do you need? How can I make it better? When I'm talking with Peggy, Peggy is not looking at just what I'm saying, looking at my emotion as a new faculty member. Peggy, Peggy always had my back as a new faculty member. Peggy was there every step of the way. When I heard the news, I said a bad word I never learned how to say until I came to America. But Peggy, <laughs> I want you to know that my story will not be written without a substantial part of it about you. And I'm not speaking only about me. Other students that you impacted. Too serviceable to a fault. You gave it all. And the fruits live on. Thank you.